Uh, the fixed income market, before we head to the market, uh, the stock market, the overnight lending rate contracted by 233 basis points to 8.8% in the absence of any significant funding pressure on the system. Activities in the Treasury Bureau secondary market were quiet as the average yield closed flat at 3.3%. Also, the average yield closed flat at 3.7% in the open market operation segment. The Treasury bond secondary market traded with mixed sentiment, although with a bullish tilt as the average yield pair by 1% to 10.9%. Across the benchmark curve, uh, the average yield contracted at the short end by 4 basis point and long end by 3 basis point, following buying interest in the April 2023 and March 2035 uh, bonds, respectively. So let's bring in our guest now. Uh, Mr. John Kanayo is a head research and uh, Imperial Asset Limited. He joins us now via the telephone. Thank you for your time. We appreciate you. Just before... Uh, Thank you. Yes, yeah, thank, thank you for your time. Just before we get to look at what happened in the market yesterday, let's look at the fixed income market. Uh, uh, last, last week, trading in the federal uh, government of Nigeria bond secondary market was bearish as a market participant continued to take profit on selected instrument across the curve. So the average benchmark yield for bonds rose by 7 basis point to close at 10.05% as at last week. So looking uh, at this particular development, looking forward to the rest of the week, analysts expect that uh, there will be a rise in bond yield in the medium term, given the increase in the domestic borrowing by the federal gov government. So what's your take on, on the assessment of the Treasury bill market or the fixed income market last week? Thank you once again for having me. Um, if you, like you said, um, last week the bond, the, the average yield in the bond market uh, contracted by, um, uh, I mean, expanded by 7%. Uh, that tells that the market was uh, uh, bearish. Um, if you look at the market, uh, activity in the Nigeria sovereign bond market has been very weak in recent time. Right. Um, obviously, because of the, um, if you uh, you look at the uh, the disparity between uh, uh, inflation number and uh, uh, the yields um, at, uh, being offered across board, you discovered uh, that we have been having a, I mean, negative uh, yield uh, return has been a uh, true yield negative true yield return has been. Uh, um, has been higher than uh, what it used to be, uh, especially if you look at the uh, second quarter, uh, second half of uh, 2021, and that uh, has equally dictated uh, the way participant has responded to the market. Uh, uh, other than institutional investors, which have always seen a, a sovereign bond as a safe haven, um, retail investors has been. Uh, have shown lukewarm uh, ads to this very market, and that has been the story of the, of the market uh, year to date. Um, okay, okay. L let me also ask you just before I let you go. Um, yes, we understand that uh, demand was weak in the secondary market talking about the treasury bill secondary market uh last week i mean demand was weak of course but what do you think is likely to change uh this week given the uh the interest rate i beg your pardon the inflation rate figure that we saw at the weekend which went up again from 15.7 percent uh to 15.92 percent in the month of march what is likely to change uh in the week uh, really, is a challenge to the market as we speak because, uh, like you have pointed out, um, inflation number from February to March uh, moved up by 22 basis points, and that is uh, that is a headwind to the market, knowing fully well that uh, uh, bond uh, 
already. Uh, bond yields and uh, inflation numbers are inversely related. Right. Um, obviously, what we have seen, if you look at what happened in the market yesterday, uh, after the uh, extended authority, the market was very, very quiet. Um, especially the bond market, you cascaded to uh, TVs and OMO market. OMO market. Uh, the three segment of the uh, fixed income market, uh, these three segments of both the, the uh, money, uh, uh, treasury, and the uh, OMO market were very quiet. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at that the market may likely uh, uh, remain so uh, the rest of this week, and uh, we'll be waiting for um, uh, the auction market that will be that will happen next week to get a better direction to get uh, uh, to get to see how uh, the regulators will react to the twenty basis uptrend in mm -hmm. inflation. Uh, um, what, what just a moment, let me call, sorry to cut in. How much are we expecting in terms of uh, uh, the auction, tra the treasury auction for next week? How much is it? How much figure is involved here? And uh, it's uh, around uh, around 150 to 160 uh, billion uh, that's expected to come into the market. Um, uh, like I said, the market will be looking forward to what will happen uh, next week. If uh, obviously investors are on the fence, uh, the challenge with you know, inflation moving up is pertinent. Uh, is close to their their, their mind and. Every one of them are looking, uh, uh, looking, uh, looking up to see how uh, the regulators are going to react to this. Okay. Um, yeah. Thank you. Uh, I think we need to leave it there, uh, Mr. John Kamayo, uh is uh, head research and at uh, Imperial Asset Limited. Thank you for your time. Uh, we'd like to have you again. Uh, thank you so much for coming on Business Breakfast. Thank you for having me. All right.